Hello everybody, welcome back to Achieve Wolf Collection. Thanks so much for coming back and watching my videos. You guys are awesome. Thanks for all the support. Uh, today, oh my gosh guys, we have to talk about one of the brand new Sailor Moon manga that has just been released at the end of April 2022. I know another Sailor Moon manga release. How many do we need? I'm going to tell you all about it and if it's worth buying. <laughs> I want to give just a small introduction in case you guys are brand new to the channel. Hi, hello, welcome. You can call me Ochi or Brooke, doesn't matter, but I am a reviewer here on YouTube that covers um, releases from the Sailor Moon franchise, Disney, and Pokemon. More on those franchises later, but it is definitely mostly Sailor Moon at this moment on my channel. So if you're into any of that, please consider subscribing to the channel and joining our amazing community here on YouTube that we have been building. It keeps growing and growing and I think you will enjoy it here. But yes, another pretty Guardian Sailor Moon manga is out now. Diehard Sailor Moon fans knew all about this release as it was teased over a year ago. And at the end of April, 2022, volume one, was officially released. I got my review copy thanks to Write Stuff Anime, and that is Stuff with one F. Write Stuff is the largest online anime specialty retailer in the United States and Canada. They have over 30 years experience selling anime and manga, and they continue to grow as a licensed retailer for authentic anime products. They did provide this copy of the Naoko Takauchi Collection Volume 1 for free. However, all of my opinions and thoughts on this are going to be my own. And believe me when I say I do not work with just anyone. I have been a customer of Right Stuff Anime for many, many years now. And one of the really big reasons why is they take very good care in shipping and packaging their manga in books as if it were a limited edition collectible like they package them very safely and securely in a box with wrapping unlike some other retailers who have been known to ship in bubble envelopes. Definitely consider them for your next manga purchase, especially if you don't like your books arriving like bent, torn, or ripped because they will take care of packaging your manga very safely and securely. Let's just go ahead and get the common questions out of the way. This is not a new Sailor Moon story. This is the same manga that we have all learned to love and hate. I say that with love. You guys know I stand Sailor Moon. A lot of you already know the story. It follows Usagi Tsukino, an ordinary 14 year old middle school student whose life is turned upside down when she meets a talking cat named Luna who tells her she is going to be a superhero named Sailor Moon and her mission is to assemble the Sailor Guardian team and find the princess. That is the spoiler free synopsis for those of you out there who may be new to the manga and anime because I do know that the Naoko Takeuchi Collection Editions will be bringing in new fans to the manga. Now the NTCs, which is what I'm going to call the Naoko Takeuchi Collection uh, from here on out in this video, have the exact same script and translation as the Eternal Editions, or I'm going to call them EEs, for this video that came out in 2018. So essentially these are exactly the same in terms of page count and translation. I do want to point out there is some minor changes. In the new NTCs, they did change the moon wand from the eternal edition to the correct term moon stick. So if you already own the really beautiful glittery cover EE editions, this is the exact same volume in a more budget-friendly size. A lot of you guys have said that the EEs are just too heavy to read casually and it strains your hand, it strains your wrists, it strains your arms. For those people, the NTCs are going to be a much easier volume to hold and also a much more portable volume too. Like they're almost pocket sized, you can fit it in a purse, you can fit it in a bag and easily carry it a lot easier than this hefty EE edition. A lot of you are gonna remember when Kodansha first started publishing the Sailor Moon manga here in the United States beginning in 2011. So we call these the 2011 editions and these, like I said, were the very first Kodansha releases. They featured a brand new accurate translation. So if you own this, kind of think about this size. That is what the NTC is comparable to. They are almost, guys, almost the same size with the NTC being slightly, and I'm talking, it's it's hard to tell, slightly shorter. The 2011s right here were harshly critiqued 
for their unnatural English translation. So my personal belief and opinion, like I don't have any facts to back this up, is that Kodansha, which is the publisher of all three of these editions, prefers the translation in the Eternal Edition and the NTC. I don't think it makes sense for them to keep both of these paperbacks of the same story in print. So my opinion is they are going to be phasing the 2011s out. So if you liked this edition and you haven't completed your collection yet, definitely start looking for the rest of the volumes because my advice and my thoughts are they are going to stop printing these very soon and they will become harder and harder to get. So if you're looking out for these for your collection, make sure you snatch up the volumes you're missing. Right Stuff still has some of these in stock too, so yeah, check them out. Stick around to the end of this video, guys. I will be doing a comparison between all three of the current English Sailor Moon manga, so you guys get an idea of which ones you personally like best and which ones you would prefer to collect. But first, I want to go over every detail of Volume 1 of the NTC. Here she is! What a beauty! It's almost 8 inches tall and almost 5 inches across, so it's a pretty good size. The thing I didn't know about these before they were released is this is the exact same number of pages as the EE. So both the EE and NTC end on the same page. Both volumes end before Act 8, so they go all the way through Act 7, Mamoru Chiba, Tuxedo Mask. So the NTC only has one glossy color page. The rest of the book are black and white paper pages. That's even less color pages as the 2011 ones. And the color page in the NTC is the same image from the 2016 20th anniversary fan book to those of you guys out there that own that. A surprising image in my opinion that they chose for volume one of the Sailor Moon manga. A lot of you guys have asked me why are there so many Sailor Moon manga releases and where are the all color Sailor Moon manga releases? I'm gonna tell you all about what I know. At least for our English releases here in the United States, they are following the exact same releases as Japan. Kodansha is the same publisher of the manga in Japan and the USA, so it makes total sense that they are releasing the same editions here in the States. The 2011s are equivalent to the 2003 Japanese Shinsoban releases, and the 2018 Eternal Editions are based on Japan's 2013 Kanzenban release, also known as the Perfect Editions over there. The latest 2022 Naoko Takauchi collection are based on Japan's 2018 Takauchi Naoko Bunko collection. So I believe it's very safe to say if Japan ever does release a physical copy of the all-color manga, we will see it a couple of years later released in the United States. And I know there's some confusion out there on the all-color manga. There isn't a physical copy of an all-color manga yet. In Japan, they did release an all-color version of volume one and volume two digitally. So a physical copy was never made. And it's very strange that they completely stopped releasing volumes too. So they went through one to two and then nothing. We haven't seen any new volumes be released in all color digitally in Japanese. It's crazy to think that there are three different English Sailor Moon manga releases in print today. And now is the time I'm going to show you guys a comparison of the three. These are so hard to hold up. Oh my gosh, they're heavy when you put them all three together. <laughs> so here they are side by side in order from first released to most present. It all depends on personal preference on which version to collect. I am partial to the EEs, the largest of the three, as the pages are all glossy and they also have the most color pages of all three releases. That also means it is the most pricey of the three. So if you're looking for the best bang for your buck, the new NTC volumes will be your best bet. I'd say go for either of those as I enjoy this translation style better. Remember I said the 2011 has a completely different translator, so the style is different. I actually did a video comparison back in 2020 of the 2011 and EE style differences. So if you want to see like more of what I have to say about those two translation styles, check that video out. I'll have a link in the description for you. Sailor Moon Fan Network, which is the site that I personally run with a couple of passionate Sailor Moon fans, we actually created a manga guide, like a current English manga guide 
on the site that lists all of the 2011s, all of the EEs and all of the NTCs in order of release and also links where to buy. I have all of Right Stuff's links on each volume that's available as well if you want to use them for your next manga purchase too. So I will have a link to that blog post down there below. It's a very good like place to bookmark in case you forget anything about the Sailor Moon manga and I will continue to update it as the rest of the volumes of the NTCs become available for pre-order. There will be 10 volumes total for the NTCs. You guys know I want to know what you think though. I've heard it from all sides. I've heard of people saying no not another Sailor Moon manga release. I want an all color version or a hardcover version. So I get it but they are just copying what Japan is coming out with and releasing them here. So we probably will not have a hardcover or an all color edition until Japan gets it first. So we'll have to keep an eye on Japanese Sailor Moon news to see if they ever come out with those type of releases. Let me know if the NTC is something that you personally want to collect. Um, they are the more budget friendly. Um, they should run $12.99 in the United States and $16.99 in, Can in Canada. Almost said in Canadian. Well, I guess that would make sense in Canadian because that would be ca Canadian dollar. Okay, okay. But definitely uh, join in on the discussion below, guys. Let us know your thoughts on the NTC and if it's something that you want or if it's something that you just don't need. There are people out there who prefer the translation to the 2011s. And essentially, if that's you, you don't need this. You do not need this because this is the exact same translation as the Eternal Edition from 2018. Let me know if you guys have any additional questions that maybe I didn't answer. Drop them below. I'll try to get back to you guys. ASAP. And again, thank you guys so much for always coming back to watch my content. I appreciate you so much. If you have time, please watch another video on my channel. Hit that like button for me and double check and make sure you're subscribed to the channel, especially if you're new. I've got lots more Sailor Moon content planned as well as other franchises too. That's coming once this room is done. Oh my gosh, I'm just looking at it right now and it's still a complete utter disaster. I'm also streaming every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time, so check out my streams if that's something that you want to hop in on and join us. We have a lot of fun. It's live chatting throughout the entire time and you can ask me live questions. We can talk about certain topics. It's, it's kind of just like a free for all. So if that's of interest to you guys, remember Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Central Time. Check and see if that works for your schedule. Anyways, guys, hi, bye, hi, bye, because I'm about to leave. I'm Ochi. I'm Ochiba Wolf everywhere in social media. Look me up if you haven't yet. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. There's a Barnes & Noble exclusive edition that's coming out for the NTCs. That's actually kind of cool because we haven't had an exclusive version of the manga like that in a while. And I did order it with my own money, so I will do a complete like comparison video between the standard normal NTC and the Barnes & Noble NTC. It comes with a gatefold poster, so I'm really kind of excited to see what that looks like. So stick around guys, that'll be coming next on the channel.